In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Elastic Beanstalk to deploy a Node.js application and get it up and running on AWS. An Elastic Beanstalk is Amazon's platform as a service-like offering that is really designed to help us to offload a lot of the tedious, uh, error-prone work of server configuration and environment setup and things like that, and, and offload that to Amazon so that we can focus mainly on our application and uh, making sure that that is correct. And so with Elastic Beanstalk, some of the things that it's designed to do, you can deploy, monitor, and scale your applications quickly and easily. And then Amazon will uh, create the optimal environment to run your application. And so some of the things that Amazon will create or set up for us if we are using Elastic Beanstalk, once we deploy our application package onto Elastic Beanstalk, Amazon will create a domain name that we can utilize. We don't have to use their domain name, but they will create a domain uh, name for our application. Uh, we can use our application with a load balancer. They will create the web server for, for our application, and then they will upload the version and deploy that version to the web server that's created. And then they also have a host manager that's running on the web server, and that will be used to manage the environment and all the resources. And they will also create an Amazon S3 bucket for our application uh, version and some uh, artifacts. And then they they will also create the necessary security group and the auto scaling groups that our application web server will reside in and they will constantly monitor that with the CloudWatch alarms and the simple notification notifications so that we can always uh, have that real-time view into what's going on with our resources that are running our application. So with that said, let's take a look at how quickly it is to do this deployment and get this application up and running on AWS. And so to get over to Elastic Beanstalk from the management console, it's down here under compute. And you wanna just click on the hyperlink for Elastic Beanstalk, and that will take you into the Elastic Beanstalk page for your particular region. So this is uh, going to be de deploying the application in whatever region it is that you are you have selected. And so you can uh, click on the blue Get Started button. And what you have to do is fill out the application details. So you have to give your application a name. And you have to choose a platform. So the platform for our application is going to be Node.js because we have a Node.js package that we're going to upload. And then we have to upload our code. And so we have to browse to our zip file for our Node.js application. And so when you browse to the file, grab our Node.js application, we can choose to change the version label, and then we can upload. And that'll get our application package up here. Then we can configure a few more options if we want. So we can set up some settings around uh, whether or not we want a custom configuration. Uh, some of the things that you can go in and change are the size of the instance that uh, we are going to, that you want to provision. So if you want to be outside of the free tier, you want to have an environment that's high highly available, you can change some of these things. If you want to use a load balancer, certain security groups and key pairs to connect to your machines and set up a notification list or a database, you can also modify some of these different configurations. But we're going to stick within the free tier for this particular application. This is a pretty lightweight uh, application, so we can leave everything as is and we can just create our app. And so what that'll do is kick off the application creation process and Amazon Elastic Beanstalk will go out and start creating all of those different pieces of the application and 
do all of those dif different tasks that are needed to get our application up and running. So it's going to create the application. We're going to upload it. It's going to deploy the application to the environment that it's created. And then once the application is up and running, it's going to continuously manage the environment and the resources. And so right now we're going through the create uh, phase and so we'll come back and take a look uh, once the environment is created and we'll see what our application looks like. So now our environment has been created. We can see that we have a green health check for our environment. So our application deployment has uh, been completed successfully. And so if we want to see our application, you can see the URL that's been provisioned for our application here. We can click on this URL and that will take us to our application. So we can see our little Node.js application here. Also, when you, your application is up and running, you have a full uh, event history that you can look at. So you can see all the different things that Elastic Beanstalk has created. So you can see it has created uh, an Amazon S3 storage bucket for environment data. It has created a security group for us. It's created an Elastic IP address for our instance. It's created the EC2 instance and launched it. And then it also did the deployment of our application package. If you go over to the EC2 dashboard, and take a look at that, you'll actually see the instance that has been created. So if we go back out to the management console and we click on EC2, you can see that we actually have one running instance and that is the instance that was created by the Elastic Beanstalk process. So if you go into the EC2 instance, you'll see that this is the instance that's been tagged with the name of our environment. So we have our production instance here that's running and we have the information of it. We have the public DNS information for our instance. We can also drop down to the auto scaling groups and you'll notice that you also have an auto scaling group that was also created as a part of this process as well. So the instance is sitting within an auto scaling group that is designed to maintain the group size. And so Elastic Beanstalk will also be monitoring and making sure that the instance group size remains the same. And so if we have a, a particular instance that goes down, uh, the Elastic Beanstalk will automatically restart a new instance in its place, or the auto scaling group will, will basically restart a new instance in its place. So there's that monitoring that's going on by CloudWatch. You can see the auto scaling group. So we have our web server is sitting within our auto scaling group. We have a, a host manager that is uh, on the web server. We are managing the environment and the resources and everything's being done through Elastic Beanstalk. So when you're in the Elastic Beanstalk environment, you have all of the events, you have the ability to go in and make changes to the configuration, you have the ability to view the log files, uh, the health checks, uh, the monitoring, and any alarms that you've set up, and all of the different necessary uh, processes for your application. From the dashboard is also where you can make uh, changes to your configuration, your current configuration, and where you can also restart the servers, rebuild the environment, and terminate your entire web service environment as well. And so with Elastic Beanstalk, it makes it really, really uh, quickly for you to be able to do a, an application deployment without having to deal with the tedious error prone work of trying to configure your servers. It gives you a uh, really quick way to improve your speed to production for many different types of applications. And it's a free resource on top of AWS. So it doesn't cost anything to use Elastic Beanstalk other than the cost of the underlying instances and resources that you uh, provision and, and use to run your application. And so outside of the fact that it doesn't support every single application type, there's really no uh, good reason as to not to at least evaluate it and see if it meets the need of your application.
So take a look at Elastic Beanstalk. See, do a deployment. We're going to leave some sample deployments out on the RMS uh, tech site under the student section. There are also many sample deployment packages that you can choose from uh, in the Elastic Beanstalk uh, console when you launch a new app. Amazon has some sample deployments that you can do just to check out the service as well. So go ahead and check out Elastic Beanstalk and see if it'll meet your needs for doing your application deployments.